Originally, amp modeling was almost like a caricature because there wasn't that much DSP power available as there is now. Like when you go to the fair and you get a cartoon drawing of yourself done, it exaggerated the features. Now, as you get more and more DSP, you can get more and more detail. So that it becomes more of the same interactive experience in our amp models that you get when you're playing the, the real amp. You know, we spent a lot of years modeling amps and getting really great matches of gear that already exists, but Sam and Ryan and I all come from a world where we've designed and built our own gear. So some of the most satisfying things we've done have been to make original amp models. The cartographer amp model was a model of my own amp that I built and modified. This is an amp I built for me, for my weird, noisy rock band, and I just didn't think that it was something that would be up for major consumption or really be that widely usable, but I was surprised and gratified. The Litigator amp, which was just kind of my tongue-in-cheek joke for the very expensive boutique amps, that was an original model. It wasn't modeled on a specific amp. That was just me making something up that I thought sounded great. Badonk, Epic, Fatality. There's been all these original Line 6 models that were designed to be just good-sounding amps on their own and not reference any specific piece of gear. We can make models that kind of push beyond what can happen in the real world. Like, you know, when a tube amp is running really hot, it sounds awesome. The tube life will be really short, but if the tube is a digital tube in the digital world, it can run like that forever. It's more of a technical challenge to do an exact model, and it's more of a fulfilling creative endeavor to do an original model because you can just make these amps that are so satisfying and so much fun to play and always are responding in a, a musical way. It's just really gratifying to do stuff like that.